The comment by Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiri Obasa, that the Assembly would prioritize making laws to protect the interests of the indigenous people of the state has been eliciting reactions. For instance, the Labour Party governorship candidate in the state for the 2023 election, Badebo Rhodes Vivo, has condemned the comments while cautioning the Speaker against laws that would divide Lagos residents along ethnic lines. He warned that any enacted law that seeks to reverse property rights in the favor of the indigenous people of Lagos State at the expense of other residents is divisive and not in the economic interest of Lagos. Rhodes Vivo stated this in a statement posted on his official Twitter handle on Thursday. Obasa had in his acceptance speech after his re-election as Speaker for the third consecutive time said lawmakers would go to any length in protecting the state indigenes even if it meant reversing existing law. Lagos is a Yoruba land, as against the assertions of some people that it is a no man's land, he said. Therefore, part of our legislative agenda is to ensure the translation of laws passed by this house to the Yoruba language. We also aim at achieving our collective goals of creating a robust legislative framework that protects the interests of our people. Going forward in this wise, we are going to employ all legislative instruments for the support of the indigenous of Lagos. There will be laws and resolutions in the areas of economy and commerce, property and titles. In the build-up to the 2023 general elections, there were claims and counterclaims about Lagos being a no man's land. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.